one could be forgiven for thinking that this was a music and entertainment extravaganza. However, it was the opening ceremony for this year's tourism in Dawa. The tourism industry is after all one of the most fun to be involved in, and the premier business-to-business -business marketing platform was not to disappoint. Equally impressive were the numbers present at this year's Indaba. 1,600 exhibitors, 2,000 hosted international buyers, and a large media contingent from all over the globe. Swaziland. There were the inevitable speeches though, but the South African tourism story needs telling. It's the one industry that has done exceptionally well post the worst economic meltdown in recent memory. In 2011, international arrivals to South Africa increased by just over 3%. Indaba has also grown tremendously since the mid-1980s and is now Africa's most important tourism trade show. The one man who has had something to do with his growth is South African Tourism Minister Martinus van Skalkweg. There are a few large platforms uh, over the world. The ITB in Berlin in Germany, the WTM in, uh, in London every year in November, and then a few in Asia. The Indaba in Durban is right up there with all of them. We have the opportunity here in one week to bring buyers from all over the world, the United States, Europe, China, India, Australia, together with uh, the owners of our tourism products. And uh, that obviously for our people make it uh, much easier, much cheaper to sell their products right here at home to the rest of the world. Thank you, Minister. Thank you. Uh, give my regards. Okay, I will. Thank you. With a hands-on reputation, he's on first-name basis with most in the industry and has a clear understanding of the health or otherwise of tourism in South Africa. We had uh, the biggest economic slowdown for decades uh, and suddenly, you know, people are becoming more positive. They feel it, they're writing more business, so that is good news. The one factor that obviously we have to deal with is because of the World Cup, we had an increase of 20% in our accommodation uh, offerings. So uh, obviously after the World Cup we had a lot of empty hotel rooms but that was a long-term decision by the private sector and uh, some of the owners told me that uh, they are very happy because they feel we're catching up and starting to fill all those rooms. In its 30 plus year history Durban KwaZulu-Natal has played host more than 20 times to tourism in Daba. Its ICC is one of the biggest in the country and in recent years provincial government officials have been vocal about being the permanent venue for tourism in Daba. We want to welcome everyone to the 2012 uh, tourism in Daba. Yeah. Our stand is open. In Indaba, not only do we offer the best idea conditions during the winter period for Indaba, we actually become the home for Indaba. The warmth of our people, the lovely nature of the environment, the, air, the scenic beauty of Durban and Guazulu Natal, the hospitality that you can find from your hoteliers, from your restaurant, makes this the perfect, perfect home for them. There can never be other perfect home than Durban Kizarat. To make sure that message hits home, this year in Daba guests were whisked away from the convention center for an authentic Durban township experience. Kwamax Lifestyle is a popular watering hole and barbecue venue in the heart of Umlazi, Durban's biggest township. A must-see for all meat lovers, the spot is fast becoming popular with international visitors. The Mar Place is more popular because it's unique and it's in the township. And that's why it draws so many people because people, even they are staying in the suburb, staying in the different province, they never be in the township. So I just have a vision to put this building as a Tuscan building in the township to make my place unique. And I offer the service that when you are a tourist, you have it all in the one place. Because we have a shop for beauty salon, we have a boutique for men and the women, we have a restaurant, western and tradition, and we have a bar. And every Sunday we host about three plus or minus 3,000 people coming in a different province. Most of the place, they usually have high profile people uh, politicians, celebrities, soccer players, all people works of life. Once again, the fun side of the tourism industry was on show, this time to draw attention to South Africa's unique cultural offerings as a niche tourism product. Internationally acclaimed Muscandi artist Johnny Clerk gave his account of how his life was changed by learning another culture. The idea is that international visitors could be as curious enough to travel to South Africa to interact with any one of South Africa's cultural groups. A cultural tourists are looking for something uh, deeper. A cultural tourist is different to an environmental one or uh, a holiday tourist. A cultural tourist is looking for 
something that's going to redefine them in their lives. They are on a quest. They're interested in other people's ideas about marriage, other people's ideas about cooking, other people's ideas about how to um, dance, how to uh, um, uh, um, make a, a, a piece of cloth with um, other maybe um, materials. They, they're interested in, 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 in the, the hidden value system that goes into that. And so we need people who can manifest that value system, who can talk about it easily. Uh, so there's a, a, a very important element of training that has to go into cultural operators who can tell those stories. In the end, we're talking about people who can tell the story. We're talking about people who can be educated, who can be given the research um, to talk about those areas that they, that they operate in and to make that accessible to international visitors. The selling of destinations, experiences and packages continue nonetheless in the packed exhibition centre. The South African tourism stand was perhaps a good indication of how the industry has become to rely on technology. What, what you can expect, you can actually read up a little more about that experience where we're using text and imagery to support it. William Price takes care of South African tourism's e-marketing. Here he demonstrates the functionality of the paperless interface that visitors to international trade shows will be exposed to. So the, trade does a, the, the stand does a few things for us. It's an opportunity for the trade from South Africa to meet the international travel trade. It needs to be inviting and warm and it needs to be functional from a business point of view. How can I make those deals work? The other thing is it needs to be able to effectively demonstrate what kind of experiences we in South Africa want to be able to push. So the perception, the branding, the positivity, those are the things that we want to be able to project and portray correctly on the stand. So how we do that by pulling in our global messaging, our imagery, our video, all of our, our global platforms where we advertise on those things all need to come together on the stand so that people can get as good an experience in terms of being able to connect with South Africa. Another stand that turned heads at this year's Indaba was the Gauteng Tourism Authority's eco-friendly recyclable display. It won the Platinum Award and incorporated such materials that could be reused. The entire stand has been built in such a way that it can be used again. It's using uh, materials that are largely uh, recycled. Um, for example, I'm not sure if you can see in the images some of the light fittings. Uh, we've taken the Shwe Shwe design obviously as well, but those things hanging from it are recycled ice cream cups that were physically collected from cinemas around Gauteng and, and branded as well. Um, it's, it's a, a low-energy, uh, low-carbon yeah, carbon stand. It's got energy-saving light bulbs. Um, and it will be something that we can dismantle and refigure and reuse in different environments over and over again. So it's not about building this enormous thing, knocking it down, and you never see it again. You'll see this emerging, morphing in other shows and things that we do as well. Jumbo, Akuna Matata, Karibu, Kenya. Eh? Tourism in Daba is an important marketing platform for the continent. A number of African countries made the trip this year. We sat down with the Kenyan Assistant Tourism Minister, Cecily Mbariri. We realized that um, many of our tourists come from Africa. Uganda is leading in their tourism arrivals into Kenya, followed by South Africa. South Africa recorded a total of 16% growth from the previous year and we recorded close to 40,000 South Africans visiting Kenya, of which 44% came on business. Therefore, we are beginning to look in to our continent and seeing how you can benefit from tourism within Africa. And the reason that becomes very critical is because even with travel advisories, Africans know their continent better than anybody else. They are able to determine that, uh, that that's not a big scare, that's not a big deal, and they'll continue to come. So we want to deal with uh, a, a, a section of tourists who are sustainable throughout the year. South African Tourism CEO Tulani Nzima gave us the final verdict on Indaba 2012. It's very important. You must understand that for every product that we have, it must be on the shelf. This is the shelf for South Africa. For people to come and buy, they have to see it on the shelf. So we've displayed the products that we have. But the second thing is you, you always bring in new stuff. As the, the stuff that you've got on the shelves is depleted, you, you bring in new stuff. And in bringing in new stuff, there's a good chance that you will actually develop new products and services. That's exactly what we do at Indaba. It is important that the deals that have been signed here will be in millions of friends. And that's hap that happens during Indaba. What then happens is we build on 
our 2011 success. We have had a good growth, 3.3%. Uh, and we can't sit back and say 3.3%, oh, it's going to happen again. Maybe we'll end up at 5% or 10% without actually actively taking steps to sign up de uh, deals. The deals that we've, got, we, we've seen signed here now will be very important in driving the achievement of targets next year.